How did the Tsar rule Russia? Nicholas II was the Tsar of Russia. Tsar means emperor. The Romanovs had ruled Russia since 1613. Nicholas II ruled as an autocrat. This meant that he ruled alone. Russia was an autocracy. He believed that he was chosen by God to rule Russia, and he was supported in this by the Russian Orthodox Church, who taught the Russian people this. He did not have to listen to a parliament. All the decisions about how to rule were his alone. But unfortunately, the Tsar was an indecisive man who didn't really think about the problems that the Russian people faced. Although he had no parliament, the Tsar did have a council of ministers to advise him. This was a group of his friends from the nobility. Their job was to advise him. They didn't have any decision-making powers at all. And they were quite likely to go along with what the Tsar said, because they were his friends after all. No one was allowed to criticise the Tsar. There was censorship of books and newspapers. There was also a secret police, the Okhrana. And what they did was they tracked down any opposition and they exiled them to Siberia. So you didn't dare say anything against the Tsar. However, in 1905, there was a revolution. A series of demonstrations and strikes against the way things were got out of hand. And troops guarding the Tsar's winter palace in St. Petersburg fired into the crowd. 130 people died. This led to even more unrest and the strikers formed a Soviet, which is a workers' council, which stopped all work in the city and took over some of the role of the Tsar's government. If the Tsar was to survive this, he needed to act fast. What he did was to set up a Duma, which is a parliament, and part of it was elected by the people of Russia. He also agreed that people could set up trade unions and political parties so people could get involved in politics. However, the Tsar later issued the fundamental laws, which meant that he could shut that down the Duma if he wanted to, so it had no real power. If it said anything that the Tsar disagreed with, the Tsar simply shut it down. But at the same time, opposition to the Tsar does begin to grow from here onward, because people were able to meet and criticise the Tsar more freely than they had done in the past. This opposition was divided into three groups. First of all, we've got the monarchists, and now they oppose the Tsar because they didn't like the fact that he had given the Russian people a Duma. They wanted to get rid of the Duma. The constitutionalists wanted the Tsar to rule with a stronger Duma. They wanted the Duma to have more say. The third group are the revolutionaries. The revolutionaries want to get rid of the Tsar altogether and have the people of Russia rule Russia. And these include the Bolsheviks, who become important later on. So to sum up how the Tsar ruled, we've got to remember that Russia was an autocracy. The Tsar ruled alone. He was supported by his council of ministers, his friends, and they helped advise him, but they didn't make any decisions. He kept control with the secret police, the Okhrana, and censorship. But after 1905, there was a Duma, even though it had its power limited. And a past exam question, a six mark one, was describe the key features of how the Tsar ruled Russia in 1917. So you would pick three of these, three developed points, say what it is and explain how each of these helped the Tsar to rule Russia.